Hi guys, okay so I'd like to start this video very quickly by saying that I do not condone using a VPN for illegal activities. Okay, there we go, we got that out of the way. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at TorGuard VPN. Now, another thing I should say at the beginning, that the Tor on this it doesn't mean that it is related to Tor as in the Onion Router or the Onion Router, if you're American. Okay, they are, it's just the Tor in the name stands for Torrent. So, okay, so let's start with what is a VPN and why do we need one? Okay, so VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And to explain this, I'm going to have to go and talk about a few other things to begin with, so do bear with me. Okay, so when you're on the internet, you have an IP address. And this is uh, your internet protocol address, and it's assigned to you by your internet service provider or ISP as I shall be referring to them. Now what this does is identify is kind of the area that you're from and a lot of people think you're oh your ISP identifies you right to your door. It doesn't. I mean it can be if you go to your ISP but I'll talk about that in a second. Like for instance my IP has sometimes been like Yorkshire and you know my accent I ain't anywhere near Yorkshire. I'm like three hours away or so. So you know it's not a like like dead on trace to where you are but anyway other people can sh all share this IP address so once you, you're, if you're not using it someone else can be assigned it so if they have an IP address someone has an IP address they can't trace that to an exact person unless they can go to your ISP to tell them I had this this address at this time and they can trace that back and they'll trace it back to your actual internet connection your how else but Again, this does not trace it back to a single computer. This just trace back to your house. And they have to go and argue with your ISP for ages to do that. But anyway, how it actually, your internet connection works. You have, say, you here, and then you have your ISP here, and then you have the website that you're going to around about here. So what happens is you send your request, say, youtube.com, then that goes to your ISP, who then go on to YouTube, that then sends it back there and goes like this. Obviously, it's all done very quickly, and it's not like a d d like this. Yes, but with that, this is all open. Your ISP can see. Oh, they're connecting to YouTube, and well, and they can see see what you're looking at if if they so choose to. And so this means that, and this is more a problem in America than it is in the U UK. If they're thinking, hmm, well, they're going to something that's going to use a lot of bandwidth. Well, we'll throttle that right down, um, and you could spoil something like that. But but with a VPN, what it has, you have you here again, you have your ISP here, but then you have your VPN here, and then you have the website that you're going to here. So what happens now is you have your VPN software here, yeah, and it's encrypted. So when you send a request, say, I want to go to YouTube, it goes to your ISP, who you send it on to your VPN, and then your VPN can then connect to the website. Now, the thi thing here is, because it's encrypted, your ISP, all it knows is it's sending traffic to this VPN site. It has no idea what's in there. So, therefore, it couldn't throttle you or anything like that. And they can't really see what you're doing unless they do a deep packet inspection, which they don't do on everything. But that's getting into a, a whole other story. So, anyway, the benefits of a VPN. Now, mainly it is about security. So, if you want to use the internet without being spied on, I mean, there's some countries spying on people more than others. There's, and if you like, it's kind of... Even if you might not be doing something wrong, but that doesn't mean that you want people looking at your, looking at what you're doing. I mean, you might not write anything bad in your emails, but do you want everybody reading them? No, because they're private, so why would you want to? So, also it hides your location. Like, if you don't want people to like, like I say, it doesn't trace you straight back to your house, but if you don't want to keep getting location-specific adverts and things like this, you can, you can always want to hide yourself. And again, people would just like to be private sometimes, and that's absolutely fine. And also, and I think this is the most common reason for getting VPN, is it allows you to access region-locked content. Now, like, for an example, for an example, if I go abroad and I want to watch like a BBC show on the iPlayer or something, and then I would it would say mm, you're not you're not in the UK. You haven't paid a license for you can't do that. But if I connect to a UK VPN address, then I can just watch it while I'm abroad. I mean it's fine. I pay a license fee. What of it? I mean again, people often do this with like US Netflix when they're not in America and things like that. But that's not something I do. But you know, it's something I'm saying that you can do, not that you should do. But that's enough about actual VPN, like explaining that. Let's talk about TorGuard VPN now. I mean, I have no particular kind of interest in this particular one. It just happened to be the one I chose for a number of different reasons. First of all, is because they're actually based in Panama, which is like a South American country. It's between Costa Rica and Colombia. And for people who aren't very good at geography, it's kind of in the 
bit between, like, you know, the little bit that goes between South America and North America is kind of in the middle there. Uh, okay, so they're based there, and in that, and that might, probably doesn't make any difference, it gives me peace of mind that it's not in America, so it can't have be raided by the NSA any second. So, you know, that's just, you know, yeah. Uh, they allow five connections per account. Uh, there are no limits on your speed or bandwidth. I would say it was going to be capped at more by which connection you're going to. So if you've got a VPN that's over the other side of the world here, you're going to have a much slower. You're going to be going a long way to where you're going to be going. So as I was saying, it'll go you, ISP, but then it'll be going halfway around the world, and then it'll be going to where you want to go. So naturally, you will be slower doing something like that. But if you use one that's close, you'll have a higher speed. So although they don't impose any caps, that is what's going to limit your speed. So yeah, that is worth keeping in mind. They also don't keep any logs of traffic or downloads. So if anybody does contact them, they can say, no idea, can't do anything. So they even say in their FAQ section that they'd be happy to hand over a, a completely blank hard drive because they don't store any information. So that's a good thing. They also have a stealth VPN feature, which is kind of even more secure. It's like mainly for countries such as China and Iran, which have like really, like they have DPI deep packet inspections, that's what it stands for. What that does is disguise your traffic as HTTPS, so they can't actually, all they see is an encrypted traffic. They don't even see it going to a VPN. They just, it looks perfectly normal to them. So yeah, there's, there's that if you'd ever need it. But I think in the UK, at the moment, you don't really need something like that, but it can be, it can be worth using you know, for extra security. So there we go. And of course, all of this information is available on their website. I'm not just going <laughs> to read off all the things on it. I'm sure you can go and look at it yourself if you're interested. Okay, so they do two separate pieces of software for this. They have the TorGuard Lite VPN, or TorGuard VPN Lite, and then they have TorGuard VPN Pro, and it's called Viscosity. So, and that is the more fully featured software. And we're going to look at both of them now. They, they both use OpenVPN, which is an open source software. Okay, so here is the TorGuard website. You see a lot of things we've talked about. The monthly price plans, or monthly, monthly, quarterly, semi and yearly. Obviously, that's all up to you if you want to do that. Let's look at the software. Okay, so right here we have, this is the uh, TorGuard Lite VPN service. And it is literally just this square here. There's nothing fancy about it. This is actually meant to go on any device. So this can go on Android, on Linux, on Mac, and on Windows as well. And if you jailbreak your iPhone, I think you can go on iOS too. But we not let's not go into that. Okay, so it says this says your real IP address, but I'm already on the VPN or something else. So uh, this is not my real IP. So nobody's like, oh my god, you put your real IP? No, it's not. I believe that's Belgium. Anyway, so you open up, it automatically updates itself once you've downloaded. Here we have the list of all the different countries that you can connect to. See, I'm, at the moment I'm on Belgium, but you've got lots of other things here. If you see that here, this is the stealth one I was talking about before that uses the HTTPS, so you can, so deep packet inspection cannot see what is in there. Uh, there's lots and lots of countries you pick, literally whichever you like. I'm between the Netherlands. You put your username and your password in here. You can save it if you like. If you're not, and then you literally you just click connect. It would go through a whole load of things here, and it connects. Basically, that is pretty much as simple as that. In the settings, there's not really much to talk about. It's got an update URL. How often do you want it to check that it's still working fine? Yeah, literally no frills, nothing like that. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so let's look at the TorGuard Viscosity client, the pro client. So here you see, this is where I'm already connected to Belgium. Now, on the main screen connections, this just shows you all the possible connections you can have. Okay, so I'm done with Belgium now, so I just want to disconnect to that. So that's, that's disconnected to that, just like that. Now I want to connect to the Netherlands instead. So right click, connect. It'll go through a short connection process. Of course, when you connect to it, it will also want your username and password, which I should now put in and which you're not going to see. And as soon as it's done, this icon here will turn green. And there we go, we are now connected to the Netherlands. So, if we just change, if you go to what is my IP, you see I was on Belgium, 
here, 185. So let's just quickly refresh this page. And you see now it's completely changed. And now I'm in Holland. When Equitel Limited, apparently. Okay, so if you want to see like your connection log here, this will go through all the stuff that it's just done here. And you can get how much up you're up and up and down. And it'll do yeah, a nice little graph here. Showing the usage, etc. I, I don't imagine people will be too interested in that, but it's there if you do want to see it. Okay, as part of the options in the general, you can start it at login and do all things like this. Disconnect connections after inactivity. I'm not entirely sure where you want to do that, but you could do updates. And if you've got your own open VPN connections already set up, you can import those in, but again, I'm not really going to go into that. As far as appearance goes, you can choose what your icon is going to look like in the corner. I have them set to that. Really, not much else to say about that. And in advance, you can disable the IPv6 while it's connected. And this is the protocol that um, controls IP addresses. They may, it's uh, newer than the IPv4 because we were running out of addresses, so that was to address that. But it doesn't matter to us while we're on the VPN. Yeah. No, I don't don't really think if, if you're not going to be tink tinkering with things, I don't think you're really going to want to be looking at any of this anyway. But yeah, this is just the, the pro version. Like, if you know what you're doing with some stuff, you can you can tinker a little bit more than with the other with the other light version, but mostly it just gives you a much nicer interface that you can quickly connect and disconnect from. So yeah, there we go. That's all we've got to say about that, really. Okay, so there's just one little thing I'd like to add on the end of that. I did have to contact their customer services once or twice over a few issues. Surprise, surprise! With installing it on Windows 8.1, I had a few problems. With like when it connected and it wouldn't, I couldn't reconnect again if I disconnected. So, but that did, did all get sorted. And I should say using it on Windows 7 and OS X 10, absolutely perfect, trouble free, boom, 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 straight away. So again, Windows 8.1 causes me all sorts of trouble. It might not happen to you on 8.1, like because I seem to be very unlucky with Windows 8.1. Okay, so lastly, if you are interested in buying TorGuard VPN. We have an affiliate link that is below. If you, all you have to do is click that, it'll take you through to their website and you can buy it from there. And it'll give us a little bit of a kickback. I mean, if you if you don't like doing that, don't like clicking on links like that, then just absolutely fine. It's TorGuard.net. Go there yourself and you can try it out. I think they have a money back guarantee if you don't like it after us. Like a, you can use it for a couple of weeks or a month or so. As long as you don't go over a 10 gigabyte cap, they'll, they'll be happy to just refund you the money straight away. But so far, I mean, I've used it for over a month. Their service has been very good. So, yeah, I can't say anything else, really. So, yeah, anyway, I think that's all I've got for you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you leave a comment below, tell me, what do you think of VPNs? Do you, is, like, is it something that you're interested in getting, or is it something you've already got? I mean, what one do you use? Like I say, I only chose I chose this one literally because it's not based in America, but there are plenty other plenty other decent ones, like PIA, pretty good, I hear. And Hotspot Shield, obviously, are pushed quite a lot, so... And they're all priced much for a muchness, but yeah. So I'd really like to know what you think of your VPN, if you use a VPN. So yeah, let me know that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We are very nearly at 1,000 subscribers, so really thank you very much. And I will see you again soon.